Hi fellows! In this video, I am going to give you a quick introduction to Odyssey brushes in Iliad. You may ask, by the way, why they are named Odyssey brushes and not Iliad brushes. It is very simple. The original main project of Praxinus is the development of a 2D animation software powered by Unreal Engine, and the software's code name is Odyssey. Iliad is actually the brush engine of that future software. Ok, let's dive into our brush engine. To create a new brush, you can make a right-click in the Content Brothers empty area and click on Odyssey Brush. I advise you to give it a name or it will be complicated to find it among the numerous brushes. Ok, so double-click to open the brush and you will get an interface that is identical to any blueprint in Unreal Engine. We will work first with something very simple that is excellent to run a few tests, especially to make sure your graphic tablet is compatible. I right-clicked here and I write Debug Stamp in the search field. Then I must link Debug Stamp to a specific event, which is Event on Step. Event on Step is a node created especially for Iliad that triggers a stroke as soon as you click in the canvas. So let's link Event on Step to Debug Stamp. I compile, I save, and I will try my new brush in a texture. There it is, and you see, the brush is acting great, it is pressure sensitive, everything's good. So let's go back to the blueprint to delete debug stamp and make a real brush. So I need a node named Simple Stamp. I connect it to Event on Step. Then I will connect X and Y to the nodes Get X and Get Y which will basically take X and Y coordinates of my mouse or my graphic tablet. Then I will connect the flow to get low. For the recall, flow is that element in Iliad interface, you know. Now, what we need the most is an actual stamp. To create a stamp, we must add a variable right here. I give it a name and I modify it to make it a 2D texture. I choose Object Reference and I Compile. Now on the right hand side we have another option visible in default value. This is where I'm going to load my stamp. Since Show Engine content is enabled, there are many textures available. But you can also load your own texture, of course. Uh, here I will use some of the stamps that have been made for Iliad. Uh, then I drag and drop the variable and I connect it to sample. Compile, save, and let's give it a try. Perfect! So the brush is working, but you noticed it is not pressure sensitive. First, we have to call a new node named Resize Uniform. I connect the stamp to sample, which I connect to simple stamp. And I call get size modifier, which will allow me to change the brush size. Like this. I go back to the blueprint and I add the node get pressure, which will use the pressure information sent by the graphic tablet. I combine it to get size modifier thanks to a node float by float, which I connect to resize uniform. 
That way, the pressure will affect the brush size. I compile, I test. Well, let's try with a bigger brush. Perfect! Now let's change the color of the brush, because at the moment I am still painting with the original color from the stamp, and if I try to change the color in the color wheel, it won't work. So I have to use another node named Fill Preserve Alpha. I connect Resize Uniform to it, and I connect it to Simple Stamp. I add the node Get Color, I connect it to Fill Preserve Alpha. I compile. And it's working! So here, basically, we're just preserving the alpha channel from the stamp, and we combine it with a color from the color wheel or from the color sliders. Now, let's imagine I would like to change the stamp of my brush. Obviously, I can go back to the Blueprint Editor and change my stamp there. However, there is another way to do so if we expose parameters. Exposing parameters means you decide to display a variable, like 2D texture, in the Liad interface. This will make Iliad easier and more friendly to use for people who are not so comfortable with Unreal Engine. To expose a variable, I go back to the Blueprint Editor and I click on the little eye icon next to the variable. I compile and when I come back to Iliad, the variable 2D texture is available right here to be changed. Of course, if you change something in the panel brush expose parameters, the change is only temporary. If you reload the brush, original parameters, including the stamp, will be loaded. If you have to change something for one and for all, you must do it in the Blueprint Editor. Let's see an example of brushes with more parameters. I will use a cat and bush. You see, there are much more exposed parameters. And if we double-click on the brush icon, it will open its blueprint. You can see there, there are much more nodes in that brush and there are much more variables on the left. Let's try them. First of all, even if my color wheel shows the white color, I am painting green because this brush overrides the color selector by using two nuances of green. I can change the leaf size. If I click on the yellow arrow, the default parameter is back. I can change the spread. I can lower the cheater. I can increase the color shift value. I can change the rotation of the brush. And I can change both colors used. Okay, now last thing to know for this lesson how to customize the brush thumbnail. By default, brushes have quite a dull green icon, and I'm going to change that. First of all, I will draw my thumbnail. Then I save it. And now I must create an extra folder, because at the moment, Thumbnails cannot be in the same folder as Odisa brushes. I rename the texture, not because it is necessary, I just want to find it easily. Then I move the thumbnail into the folder, and I do a right-click on the Odyssey brush, Edit Thumbnail. I choose the thumbnail into the texture list, and I click on Switch Thumbnail. That's all, folks! Thank you for watching! As usual, feel free to join us on Discord if you have any questions about Iliad, leave a comment, subscribe our channel, follow us on other social networks, and if you want to get a new pack of brushes every month, you can tip us on Patreon. Thank you, bye!